Michelle Out, and I'm so excited to be at the Los Angeles Theater for the grand premiere of Todd Haynes' newest motion picture, Wonderstruck. Don't go anywhere because we're going to get started real soon right here on The Scoop. Nice to meet you. So we're from the University of Southern California. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, so just a quick question. So I know you wrote this book, right? Yeah, yeah. What inspired you to write this book? I started learning about deaf culture. I saw a documentary called Through Deaf Eyes, and it talked about how in 1927, when sound was introduced to movies, you know, I as a hearing person had always been told that's fantastic. And it was the next step in the technological innovation of cinema. But for the deaf community, it was a tragedy because they could no longer go to the movies with everybody else. They couldn't understand film anymore. So that got me interested in seeing the world from this different perspective and, and interviewing deaf people and trying to tell a story from a deaf perspective. Uh, the film history, the film right. language, in the most sort of elemental way, mm -hmm. because it's a film that's not based on dialogue, it right. doesn't rely on the simple, typical ways that stories are told, because right. both of the characters are deaf, and it's intercutting these two time frames, yeah. 50 years apart in New York City. Mm -hmm. So it's about the editorial language, how that's put together. You, can know, you couldn't do it in any, any other media. Yeah. What he right. did, what Brian did, is a book is beautiful. But this is really embracing cinema. Haynes and I uh, talked about it before we even shot it. We talked right. about the things that the music could do, uh, different approaches we might take because the characters are deaf, and different approaches we might take because the characters live in different right. eras. Um, Something that really represents this film is family. Uh, family is very important in general, um, but family really shows in this film how we take families for granted and a lot of people are without family members and sometimes without a full family and that's really hard for a lot of people. But um, we take family for granted and having your family with you is always really nice and being able to relate to a family and have that people who care about you is, is very important. Um, well, it started with me actually reading Brian's book, Wonderstruck, right. and then talking to him about wouldn't this make a great movie, and then uh, talking to him about him writing the screenplay, which he ended up doing. And then once he'd done that, and I'd read a, a few drafts of it, we then took it to Todd to right. see whether he would be remotely interested, or at least give us advice about where to go right. next. And then it transpired that he actually read it and loved it, and said, I want to make this movie. And so that was the most exciting thing that happened during the were there any challenges that you Yeah, you know, it's a 1977 project and, you know, this is a different time period, so a lot of research goes into that. And then also, I had to communicate with a deaf person. Right. Um, how was that like? It was a very interesting process because the character, he can speak, he just can't hear. Right. So he could make an announcement, he could say something, but I would have to write it down and right. I would constantly have to remember like, oh right, he can't right. he can't hear. And you have to bring that into you have to bring that as an emotion that he can't hear. That's true. And you know, Oaks did such a great job at delivering the character that it yeah. was seamless, but the, the idea of having to write down something so that he could read it, get his attention, um, and then he would have to read it, and then he would have to reply. It's just a long process. In one scene, we're speaking Spanish, English, sign language, mining. It's it's just such a complex film, but it comes together so beautifully. Fight on! Fight on! Fight on! Fight on. Fight on. Well, that's all we have for you tonight, but be sure to check it out in theaters when it comes out October 20th. It will leave you wonderstruck. And of course, keep watching The Scoop on Trojan Vision.